Welcome to BK Academy of Chess, this is Black Knight. In 1908, Tarash claimed this to be a win for White. So I'm going to show you how White wins this position, but then I'm going to show you how Black can successfully defend the position. Is White to move? How should White play? He could play King to F3 as well, because he needs to get the King to the A7 square, and from there, you can set up this position with white to move, right? If it's black's move, we know that black can draw this position from our prior video. And by the way, we know that the pawn cannot push to a7 because black can easily hold for the draw, right? So play may continue like this. Black could be trying to flaunt that he knows how to play this position by moving the king back and forth between g7 and a7. And black could also could give the king a hard time because now how should black play to get the king to a7? Well, of course, he has to attack the rook because the pawn is not yet on a7. So the king can move one square away from the g7 square. Right? So the king attacks the rook. And of course, the rook cannot maintain control of the fourth rank because he must maintain the A file, right? So, you know, we, we may start harassing the king with checks, but the king does finally find safety, right? Now here, how should black play? Now black needs to make them to the C7 square. However, it's too late, unless white makes a mistake. So how should white play? He comes out with the rook, with tempo, by attacking the black rook, right? Now, how should black play? You might be thinking rook to a1, which is not bad, but this is a little bit better, rook to c1, because it gives white a chance to make a mistake. How should white play in this position? Rook to b7 is incorrect, because what does black have here? King to d8. Now, if the white king makes space for the pawn to promote, how should black play? Simply checks the king and returns back to c1. So now if the king moves to a8, how should black play? He stonewalls on the c-file and locks the king in on the a-file. And this is what I'm going to call this position now that black is in. I call it now stonewalling on the c-file locking the king in on the a-file. Another mistake that white can make in this position is by pushing his king to a8. And that is very likely to happen because this is the position that white was trying to get in, right? But this allows the black king to move to d7. And when the pawn moves to a7, he stonewalls on the c-file. And there's nothing white can do to get the king from out in front of the pawn. The correct way to play this position is with king to b7. So now he makes way for the pawn to promote. So black checks the king. And how should black play this position? Now's the time to play king to a8, right? Because the white rook is now attacking the black rook. So he attacks the pawn. And the pawn pushes to a7. And notice. The black king is not close enough to c7 in order to stonewall on the c-file. This is a winning position for white. We went over this in our last video. In 1924, Van Cura teaches us how to defend this position by attacking the pawn from the side, waiting for the pawn to push so that he can move his rook behind the pawn, and we know this position to be a draw. Now, white will try to protect the pawn with the king. Now, all black needs to do is to harass it with checks until the king moves away. So, there's nowhere for the king to hide, right? And this is the difference between attacking the pawn from behind. All the concepts remain the same. If the rook checks the king, the king simply steps up to g6, right? It could play out like this. So, how should black play here? He checks the king until the king leaves the pawn. Now how should black play? He must maintain the attack on the pawn. 
so that when he pushes, he can assume the A6 square and maintain control of the A5, and we know that to be a draw. The key is, the king has nowhere to hide now, right? So here, how should black play? As long as he maintains the attack on the a6 pawn, all is well, except for rook to f6. How does white win this position? White has rook to g8 check, right? And that's a win. Now black may try to save his rook, but there's no saving it, all right? So that's all there is to know about the Vancura drawing position. If the rook checks the king, it just steps up to g6. And if the rook goes back to a8, then the king drops back to g7. And white can do nothing to improve the position. Now let's go back to the analysis that Tarish did in 1908 and to see if we can apply this concept. After the king moves to f2, how does black go about obtaining the Vincura drawing position? There's a little trick that black must use to obtain the position because as soon as the rook leaves the A file, this gives white a chance to move its rook from the A file unless black uses some type of tempo move. The answer is rook to A5. When the king plays to E3, he simply checks the king freezing white's rook in front of the pawn, giving black the time necessary to jump onto the sixth rank to attack the pawn from the side to use the Vancura drawing method to hold this position. And this is a draw.